Spoon. And, uh, Coach, you know, I mentioned on the air that a lot of people kept asking me how good this team was going to be this year. And, honestly, I kept telling people I don't know what this team is going to be this year. And I thought the uh, first half really was a half where you saw a team that had a lot of players out there who hadn't played together. Second half, I thought they looked like a completely different group. All right, well, the first half, we, we couldn't get anything going uh, offensively. Defensively, we were totally out of sync. Uh, so I was trying to find someone who, who wanted to defend for us, wanted to score for us. Uh, and we were truly out of sync in the first half. We didn't defend well. They got down the middle of the paint on us a lot. Um, just a lot of things didn't go very well for us in the first half. Uh, but our kids sucked it up. In the second half, I think they played very well. They, they really poured their hearts out into it with giving up 41 in the first half and then 25 in the second. I think they poured their hearts out into the second half. Uh, but we can't have all the turnovers that we had. And we kind of you know, shot ourselves in the foot, you know, so to speak. Uh, um, you know, Sometimes you just have to have amnesia and forget some things and move on to the next one. Uh, because I do think our kids poured their hearts out in the second half. Um, but it's, it's a tough loss for us because we feel like we gave one away. And, you know, it, the first half you mentioned, 14 turnovers in the first half. You end up with 22, but you only had two in the first 14 minutes of the second half. It was down the stretch when you fought so hard to get back into this game. There were some possessions, some fast break possessions, a possession where the 30-second shot clock went off that we just came up empty on. Right, these are just some things we can learn from, you know, learn how to be a little more in control of situations, uh, you know, not to be in such a hurry. Once you work so hard and you get a defensive stop, especially being in someone else's home, you definitely want to go down and then score. Because we got four or five defensive stops there in a row, held them a 57 for quite some time. Uh, and our kids just didn't put it in the basket or we turned it over. Something negative happened. But when they went back defensively and still, you know, stiffened up defensively, got tough defensively, uh, it's, it means a lot. You know, we can take some, uh, some positive from a lot of things that happened tonight and move forward into and, and becoming a better basketball team. I was proud of the way Tavasha Anderson came off the bench for you, scored 15 points, hit her free throws, and made some big shots inside. She was big. You know, the one thing we wanted to do, we wanted to establish paint dominance. And as big as she is, she gets down there, she utilizes her body frame very well. Uh, she did a great job for us tonight of getting great post position. But the most important thing is she caught the ball one to score. You know, and, and that's what we have to do. We have to go to the rim uh, instead of fading away. We have guards uh, uh, all around the perimeter. We need post people to be, be post people and be dominant in the paint. And she was that for us tonight. I thought Whitney Frazier looked like she forced things a little bit in that first half, maybe trying to do a little too much. Second half looked more like the Whitney Frazier we saw last year. Absolutely. I, I think once they settled down after that first half, you know, sometimes nerves set in. It just does. And, uh, and you, you have to take a lot of positive from this, this game that we can learn from and become better. I think the kids did. I think we did as coaches. Uh, and we'll just take some positive from a lot of this and move forward. You know, you got a lot of new kids that came out and played tonight. But, uh, you know, I talked a little bit about Lulu Perry. This is a young lady. Ended up with seven points, but I'm going to tell you what, she had one play down there, that and one where she fed Anderson in the first half, which I uh, basically said that was the first wow play we've seen from her, but we're going to have a lot more of those before her career's Absolutely. over. She's just feeling her way right now. This, this is something different, something totally different. The game is a little more physical. Uh, it's a little faster. You know, so she's, she's feeling her way. I'm telling you, when I tell you this kid is going to be an incredible impact in this program, you will see and hear her name for a number of years to come. Uh, we're just looking for greater things from her. She's feeling her way. She's going to be fine. There's plenty of other things that she has to learn as well, you know, at this, this level of basketball. You got a good South Carolina team coming in Monday night. They won 25 games last year, and if I'm not mistaken, might have made the Sweet 16 yes. of the NCAA tournament. Dawn Staley, somebody you're very familiar with. Uh, this is going to be quite a challenge. It will be. It, it definitely will be. I think our kids are understanding the strength of our schedule, the strength of this team in South Carolina. That's why we're telling our kids we really have to have amnesia. We'll learn from this. We'll, we'll be a better basketball team from this. Uh, and we'll learn and move forward against all the teams that we're going to play against. We have to get better. There's no ands, ifs, and buts about it. We have to get better playing against teams like this, Tulane, and then walking in playing South Carolina. Uh, the little things that we didn't do, we'll make sure that we put those into play against South Carolina to be better. They say that you could make your most improvement cliche between the first and second game what do you want to see the where do you want to see the most improvement yeah, from I, I just really want us to get back in transition D. our transition defense wasn't very good at all you know a lot of times you make a turnover your body language isn't very good or you, you're, you're feeling sorry for yourself and you don't sprint and get back well those, those things you have to quickly forget and go back and try to get the ball back uh, and if we can do those things we feel like we'll be okay 
Um, but, but, you know, moving forward, Malcolm is just going to be the most important thing for us is to move forward to get better uh, and to work on the things that we know we need to work on defensively, um, to make sure that we keep the ball in front of us, more so than allowed to get to the middle, and then it creating a lot of trouble for us there. And then go down and execute our offensive sets. We have to execute our offensive sets and, and uh, move from one option to the next. It's almost as if we get to the second option and we kind of lose focus on the rest of the actions. But uh, it's easy things to correct. We'll get back into the gym and we'll correct those things. And as we move forward, we're looking to, uh, to have even better basketball team. Well, I know that uh, this is going to be 